We all just saw Broly Romero get battered around that ring. We all just saw the beating that he took. In the very first round, Esau Cruz had that man on ice skates. Caught him with a nasty left hook. And it was, <laughs> man, it was just all downhill from there. It was just all downhill from there. There was never a round where you really felt like Roley was in control. There was never a round where you felt like he had it together. There was just rounds where maybe he wasn't getting caught with a big shot. But then you think about rounds like that seventh round. Oh, man, he was just getting hammered all over the place. You look at the the look in his eyes in between the rounds. You look at the way that he's perceiving information. You look at his legs getting stiff at certain points. And then you look at when the fight actually got stopped in the eighth. Like, that man took a beating for multiple rounds. He was getting caught by a puncher and just getting punished. And then after the fight, all of a sudden, we see they immediately, I can't, immediately, they come and stick a microphone in this guy's face. Like, before he even said one word, I was thinking right away, like, this isn't going to go well. This is bogus. Why would they go and do him like that? To be honest, I was a little bit surprised that he was even up standing there for the mic to be in his face. It just, it all seemed to happen so quickly. They should not be interviewing a guy who just got pounded on like that. They should not be putting a microphone in that man's face. It's like, I remember... When Joe Rogan was interviewing Alistair, Alistair Overeem, and it was the same type of thing. He had just gotten this nasty knockout, and then Joe Rogan asked him this question, and he says, oh, I thought that he had tapped earlier during this submission, and he had given up, and you know, basically he, he, he was given this, this reasoning for this fight that sounded kind of crazy. They put the whole thing on, on the big screen, and the event that he was talking about never happened. And Joe Rogan came out later, and he was like, man, I really thought that, that he had a point, and I really wanted to put it up there when everybody was looking, and, and they could possibly see that what he was talking about during the fight. But the event never happened. You were, it was the, the, the perception or, or the ramblings of, of a guy who had just gotten his bell rung. Man, he had just gotten hammered, and all of a sudden, he was given some kind of crazy story, and then it made just everybody look bad, and people started talking to Joe Rogan, like, why are you putting a guy out there like that? And it was you know, experiences like that and seeing guys that just got hammered on and all of a sudden they put the mic in Rosie's face. And what does he do? The second he opened his mouth, I knew that it was just, he was off. Almost in this like quiet voice that doesn't really sound right. He says, no, I worked hard. She asked him like, did you underestimate this guy? And he says, no, I worked hard. And you could tell if you didn't know that it was a bad idea before, if, if, how did you not know it was a bad idea to continue on with it at that point? And not only does she continue on with the interview, but she kind of comes at him a little bit. Oh, well, I'm not saying that you didn't work hard, but I'm saying that you underestimated him. You said that he was going to be easy to hit and he wasn't easy to hit. And you were, and in fact, you were the guy out there getting caught with more punches. How are you going to sit there and harass that man after he just got caught like that? Man, I didn't like anything about that. And then, <laughs> and then he just follows it up with the happy Easter. Jesus was resurrected and I'm going to come back in this like, 100% without a doubt, clearly that man was, I mean, he had just got his bell rung. He had just got hammered. We all saw that fight. We all saw the punches that he took. We all saw the fact that that fight needed to be stopped as it was. And you're going to stick a microphone in his face. So I don't normally, I don't make videos like this. Normally my, my videos are analysis and we're, we're talking about things that specifically happen in the ring, things that are going to affect what happens in the ring, what just happened, what may happen, potential fights, things like that. But I felt the need to say it because I felt like it was so wrong, man. I felt like when they, like they were doing the man dirty by putting the microphone in his face like that. So I, I just had to come out and say something about it. I, there was a few guys online. Sean Porter is the first one that I can think of that was saying the same thing, that they do not need to be interviewing Roley right now. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm off on base on this? Do you want to hear from a man who just got hammered like that, just got stopped? Do you want to hear what he has to say in the ring? Let me know what you guys think.